around the region will head to City Park next week for the first match to be played there. Drone 4 powered by Renewal by Anderson giving us a bird's eye view of the pitch before fans file in. Gabriela Vidal is live outside the stadium tonight with how businesses are getting ready for the game. Gabby. Yeah, Corey, well, next week's matchup on Wednesday is a friendly game played by City 2. Fans that our season ticket holders say they're excited to see this game. And as a preview of what's to come for the downtown West area and for businesses like Maggie O'Brien's just across the street, it's exciting time, especially to see all this foot traffic pouring in for the first time. The anticipation is undeniable. It feels like I've been waiting since I came to America for this moment. I came here in 2005. As longtime St. Louis residents. Uh, it's great to have so you know, soccer here in St. Louis. Get ready for the community's first soccer match inside City Park. I, I literally have about what it's going to be like when we celebrate our first goal in our new stadium. And I really hope it happens this Wednesday. A day like that, you're looking at for sure 50 to 60 people on staff. Eddie McVeigh is the owner of Maggie O'Brien's, a staple to the community for more than 40 years. We've always done a, a decent to a very good business, and this would certainly just be icing on the cake for us. Newly reopened and remodeled. A big part of this isn't just the look, but it's also the flow of the place. To, uh, from a server standpoint, a bartender standpoint, and then even from uh, the patrons being able to get through a lot easier. And it's not as chopped up as it used to be. And on the heels of City Park's opening day, just steps away. We're just looking for increase in, in revenues. I, and, I, and I just love that this end of the city now is really, in the last five years, I feel like has started to really get some more and more and more action, you know, to where we're actually picking up and there's more things going on down at this end. McVeigh says their business is looking to how they've tackled big events in the past and getting ready for next week's friendly match and St. Louis City SC games to come in the new season. We're throwing darts at the board right now. Once we get a couple under our belt, we'll really start having a feel for it. And at that point, I think you just make adjustments as best you can. Next week, we'll have more live coverage leading up to Wednesday's game, including interviews with coaches, players, businesses, and a look inside the stadium. And we'll have live coverage from inside the stadium on game day. Reporting live in the downtown West area, Gabriella Vidal, News 4. Some exciting times.